Banyong Emmanuel Chair, uh, founder and CEO of Kids Hall of Talent Foundation. And I've been here at this workshop organized by uh, Vision Africa here in Cameroon, precisely at Limbe. And uh, to tell you the truth, I'm very, very impressed. I'm very, very marveled by the wonderful contribution of Vision Africa towards the, 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 the development of young talents in Africa. Because right now we have a lot of young people who, who have potentials, but most of them do not know that they even have these potentials. Some know, but they don't know how to maximize it for the benefit of themselves and their communities. So I'm very happy that Vision Africa has taken up this great challenge to see how they can help young Africans identify their talents, nurture it, and use it for the betterment and service of their community. Africa is actually is coming at a time where African youth, this emancipation of the African youth, it's coming at a time where we think African youth need to start thinking about themselves. African youth need to know about themselves. Where we need to find our inner mind. So, I think Vijana is actually a square peg in a square hole in time. Like the old saying goes, a stitch in time serves nine. So, I presume, or I would confidently say, Vijana has come at that moment where African youths are supposed to come out of themselves. African youths are supposed to become great inventors african youths are supposed to become wonderful technicians african youths are supposed to become the builders of tomorrow because african youths are the future of tomorrow i for one have served in a lot of ngos but this particular one is so good because it's grooming young kids from the roots bringing their inner perspective bringing their inner talents i love what they are doing in cameroon and in africa the children that came here today they had a lot of passion and talent talent in fact africa really do have talent so visional africa is really here to to pick out those talent and really um, help them focus and achieve their goals so cameroon will be a better place life will come out i pray and i believe that this program will succeed so that in the nearby future all our projects will be handled by cameroonians we will do things by cameroonians we're not only be focusing on, on, on what parents will force them. No, now we ought to allow the children to do whatever they like to do so that because God has put something in them. I find myself as a volunteer. I also find my, found myself like a participant in the sense that I wished I could have such opportunities when I was, I was much younger. So it was wonderful serving them. It was wonderful attending to them. And following the experience I have, I just believe that this will go a long way to make youths to grasp what they really want, to love and do what they really want. Bravo to Vision Africa. People have talent, inborn talent, but they think they can do geography, history at the end of the day, they are unemployed. And today, if I see this opportunity, I just come in as a comedian, but I give them the story of my life, where, how it started. If you've been taken from a trash, don't, don't, don't think you're going to stay there. And I remind them on one word that they, when I was working, they called me a mad person. MAD, I just told them that it was to make a difference. And I told them about poverty. Poverty alleviation doesn't mean you will see in your house and you find people alleviate themselves from poverty. No. Poor simply means passing over opportunities repeatedly. The whole notion of this seminar is bringing people together, making the world a global village. And children are going to succeed. They are going to pick one or two things from I this just place. volunteer, but like seriously, I think this program is just, it's just an eye-opener to everybody. Even to, apart from the young people, it's an eye-opener to everybody as well. Into the vision of harnessing what we have, that's our youth, and making them understand that they, all, they have all it takes, you know, to better themselves and our economy. Like we don't really necessarily have to fly out. We can make the improvement that we so desire here in our country because we all have what it takes. So I Personally, I think Virginia Africa is doing something very great. Um, the fact that they have an age bracket in mind, 7 to 17, works very perfect. Um, these youngsters are meant to be caught young because um, 
there are so many vices that could put them off the lane. But when you try to talk to them, encourage them, nurture and develop, make them nurture and develop their talent early, it, it just sticks. Just like a window to showcase their talents. You know, so many kids have various potentials. And this is a, this is a, a unique avenue for those younger ones, particularly in this West Africa, to show what we can do, what we are capable to do. You know, they don't need to leave Africa and go to another place to say that they can be who wherever they want to be. But I think the, the, the workshop going on in this place um, is a unique one.